Gymnastics may seem like an elegant sport. However, it is one of the most challenging in the world. From performing mind-bending feats on poles and vaults to gravity-defying floor routines, gymnastics is full of wonders. There are countless jaw-dropping moments that have been recorded in this sport, which have left the audience in complete awe. So, let's count down the top 10 most shocking moments and records in the history of gymnastics. First up, Gabby Douglas makes history. True gymnastic fans can never forget the name Gabby Douglas. Her name went down in history as she became the first African American to win the all around gold. Douglas's mind boggling performance at the Olympics of 2012 made her the first American to win both team and individual all around gold medals. Gabby's ascent into history's most fierce and talented gymnasts is one of the greatest ever in. American gymnastics history. Nicknamed the Flying Squirrel, Gabby didn't have it easy and was even labeled unreliable by the gymnastics cast a year prior to her stunning victory. But to everyone's shock, Douglas shot to superstardom with her incredible performances and also became a member of the Fierce Five. She is an inspiration for young black women all around the world. Next, Nadia Kamenichi is the name that defines the word perfection in the gymnastics world. That's right, before her, the concept of scoring a perfect 10 was unfathomable. However, However, the young 14-year-old Romanian gymnastic protege carved her name in history in 1976 as she received the first ever perfect 10 on the uneven bars. This is a shocking record because before Nadia pulled off this feat, there was no such thing as a perfect 10 on the Olympic scoreboard. Nadia further went on to win gold on the balance beam, bronze on the floor, gold in the all-around, and gold on the uneven bars, and silver in the team competition. The most hilarious thing about the entire moment was that the scoreboard couldn't even display the perfect 10. 10 because it was only designed to display three digits. Then we have Kerry Strug's impossible vault landing. If there is an example of true passion and sportsmanship, it's the fateful day when Kerry Strug made her unforgettable landing. Her performance at the 1996 Atlanta Olympics is regarded as one of the most inspiring performances in all of Olympic history. The 18-year-old gymnast tore two ligaments as she awkwardly landed on her ankle during her first vault. However, instead of walking out, she charged down the runway with an injured ankle, determined to stay a perfect landing. You see, she needed to land a second vault on both her feet in order to grab the gold medal. Things were looking good for the American as all of the first four members missed their landings. As the last woman standing, it was Carrie who clinched the gold for her team with her perfect touchdown on both feet. She immediately collapsed after it and had to be carried to the podium. Next, Olga Corbett's famous flip. Olga Corbett is a celebrated name in gymnastics history as one of the few female gymnasts who popularized the sport. The young Soviet gymnast, debuted back in 1972 at the Munich Olympics and wowed the crowd with moves never seen before on an international platform. Corbett, with her million-dollar smile, went on to win gold medals in floor exercises, balance beam, and even a team gold medal. Nevertheless, the star of her performance was incredible, the Corbett flip. The famous move named after her requires the gymnast to do a standing backward somersault into a swing down. She not only performed the incredible feat, but also became one of the first few to complete a backward somersault on the balance beam. She elegantly propelled herself backwards and clasped the bar behind her to continue with her extraordinary routine. Now we have Dominique Dawes gold medal. It's surprising to know that at the same event where Carrie Strug injured her ankle, Dominique Dawes took the stage as her alternate. This was the chance for the young gymnast to shine, and she didn't waste that opportunity. When she took the floor exercise at the Olympics in 1996, she finished third, making her the first African-American gymnast to land an individual Olympic medal. Not only that, but she also became the first American American gymnast to rack in three team Olympic medals back in 2000. Dawes's career is full of firsts, and she used her skills to go down in history as an inspirational gymnast. She has a long list of accomplishments, including being the first African American on the U.S. national gymnastics team in 1988. Up next, Carly Patterson's amazing floor routine. In 2004, it looked like America's drought of not winning an individual all-around Olympic title since Mary Lou Retton's performance would continue. However, everything changed when two. 2003 Gymnastic World Championship runner-up Carly Patterson gave an unforgettable performance that would go down in history. The young gymnast gave the performance of a lifetime in the Athens Olympics and vaulted herself into one of the biggest stars in the gymnastics world. Her near-perfect routine and an astounding near-perfect 9.775 won her a silver medal. Carly delivered her memorable signature beam performance when she mesmerized the audience with her Arabian double front gorgeous dismount. Her performance put her ahead of three-time world champion Svetlana Korkina, who was obviously the tournament's favorite. Carly Patterson went on to become the second American woman to win gold in the all-around competition in gymnastics. Then we have Michaela Maroney's strong vault. 
results. Most of us would know Michaela from her overly dissatisfied expression on the podium at the 2012 Olympics, but she's more than what the photo led on. Maroney was a member of what people called the Fierce Five, a group of five young U.S. gymnasts who broke records at the 2012 Summer Olympics. Names like Gabby Douglas and Ali Raisman were on the team, but it was Maroney's perfect vault that stole the show. Maroney's vaulting earned her an average score of 9.733. This was the highest score at a world championship or Olympics according to the new scoring system of women's gymnastics. Maroney's flawless Aminar, which is one of the hardest vaults, is regarded as one of the greatest vaults of all time. Her staggering total propelled Team USA towards its first gold medal since 1996. Her backward salto left the audience completely awestruck. Now we have Fujimoto's broken leg performance. If you found Kerry Strug's perfect landing with an injured ankle shocking, wait till you see what Fujimoto pulled at the 1967 Games. There are only a few athletes out there who would risk everything for their nation's pride, and Fujimoto is one of them. He risked sustaining permanent disability just so his team could win gold. The 26-year-old busted his right kneecap during the final tumbling run in the floor exercise in 1967. Fujimoto hid his injury because the Japanese were in tight competition with the Soviet Union. However, what's the most shocking thing is that Fujimoto managed to score a whopping 9.5 on the pommel horse despite experiencing excruciating pain. If that wasn't enough, Fujimoto went on to give the performance of a lifetime and scored a career-high 9.5. He shortly collapsed after his performance. Doctors were horrified to see how he managed to do twists and somersaults with a dislocated kneecap. Despite tearing ligaments and finishing one man short, Japan still won the gold medal, making it the closest competition in Olympics history. Up next, Mary Lou Retton's epic performance. Inspired by Komonichi's historical performance, 16-year-old Mary Lou Retton earned her own perfect 10 in the 1984 Summer Olympics. Retton turned out to be the very first American female gymnast to win the individual all-around gold medal outside of Eastern Europe. She received two perfect tens for her historic performance, both for her famous vault and floor routine. Despite having considerably minimal international experience, Retton's triumphant pose pushed her to becoming the female athlete of the year. And if that wasn't enough, she also became the first U.S. gymnast to appear on the Wheaties box. Retton is undoubtedly regarded as one of the greatest gymnasts in American history who inspired the popularity of the sport. Apart from her gold medal, she also helped her team clinch the silver medal, bronze medals in the floor exercise and silver medal in the vault. And then at the top of our list, Simone Biles' record-breaking career. There's no surprise that Simone Biles will sit at the top of every list related to gymnastics records and historic moments. Biles' skills are unparalleled, and she is known perhaps as the greatest gymnast in history. Biles was taking over the world way before she attended the 2016 Olympics. By that time, she had won a whopping 10 world championship gold medals. When it comes to world records, Simone Biles' list may never end. She is the only woman to hold seven all-around U.S. championship titles, and she surprisingly holds a total of 30 world championship and Olympic medals. Athletes like Simone come in decades, and that's because she is the world's most celebrated gymnast. Simone Biles holds various world records, including the most world gold medals at 14. And she is tied with Corkina for most medals overall by a female gymnast. Simone is known for performing difficult routines, definitely something that camp does. Well, that's a wrap for this video. So, what did you think about these shots? records. Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos just like this. See you in the next one.